Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 88 with me Craig Barton. Now as most of you will probably know, teachers now have the opportunity, if they so wish to, to sell their resources on the TES website. So what I thought would be a good idea is that every fourth resource of the week, I'm going to choose one of these premium resources for sale, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to review it as I would do any other resource of the week. Now as my wife and friends will probably tell you, I'm about as tight as they get when it comes to spending my own money. So what I'm looking for when I purchase these resources is something a bit different. Because as I hope um, that we've learned together over the last four or five years that I've been the TES Maths Advisor, the quality of free resources available on TES is absolutely mind-blowing. So if I'm going to be buying a resource, I really do want something different. And it's going to be those high-quality different resources that I'm going to be highlighting in this Resource of the Week series. So here's the first one, Fractions All in One by Mr. Carter Maths. Now those of you who were following my Resource of the Week series last, uh, last year will uh, hopefully remember towards the end there was a wonderful quadratics resource uploaded by Mr. Carter uh, for free and this is his follow-up, Fractions All in One. Now I paid £5 for this resource and for that I got an Excel spreadsheet but believe me it is worth every single penny. So let's take a look at it. Um, so it's set up exactly as his quadratics one was with your entire topic um, skills listed down here and you can access all of these. So let's just go through it. Um, now it's an Excel spreadsheet so with Excel you've got to enable your macros otherwise it gets a bit funny so just make sure you do that and then you're good to go. So let's have a look at fractions of shapes. So you get some nice simple fractions of shapes activities. They fit beautifully on an interactive whiteboard. I've just narrowed my screen slightly just to make sure it fits for the video. And of course, because it's Excel, uh, you can generate as many different questions as you like. So students will never get the same questions twice. And if you click show answers, it will work those answers out for you. And you can see the ones on the left don't require any simplification. The ones on the right do require simplification. So you get a nice bit of natural progression. Uh, what's nice about each of these as well is they each have learning objectives there. So there's your learning objectives for each different skill. So the kids can either copy those down or you can project them up at the end or just use them for your own, uh, your own information. Um, if we click this arrow, it takes us back to the, uh, the home screen. I want to show you this one here, adding fractions. This is lovely, this. So you get nice, uh, a nice progression through questions there with the first one having the same denominator, the second one having different denominators, some that are multiples of each other, some that aren't, and the third one involving mixed number fractions. And again, you can click new questions and show answers. But the reason I've shown you this is because this also has this feature, mini whiteboard activity. And I love this because you can either use this at the start or, or at numerous points throughout and you click on that and it's about finding the lowest common multiple which of course is the absolute key to, uh, to, add to success when it comes to adding fractions. So you can fire this up and then you can show the students the answers and the kids can just write those on a mini whiteboard, hold them up to you, you can check whether they're right or wrong and if students are going wrong then you can identify those students, group them together and intervene whilst everybody else cracks on with the worksheet and you go back to the lesson hide your answers and everybody else is good to go. So lovely stuff and I hope you can see just how quick, slick and effective this resource can make the assessing of these particular skills. As I say, there's loads of different ones in there. Um, another one I want to show you is this one, ordering fractions, an absolutely fundamental skill. Again, really nice progression of difficulty. These ones tend to fit quite nicely um, into the um, into the same denominator, whereas these ones on the right hand side, tend you tend to have to go slightly higher to get the uh, lowest common multiple. And again, you can generate as many different questions as you want. And once again, a mini whiteboard activity, this time which one's bigger? Really, really nice. And you can keep generating those to get some really good class discussion going on there. Um, absolutely excellent stuff. And you get the full progression of the topic from basic fractions of shapes right through to that nasty recurring decimals to fractions. So your classic skills here, and if I click new, it'll keep generating more and more of these. And you get the um, both both place decimal places recurring, just one decimal place recurring and two decimal places recurring. And if you click show answers, you get all the answers. And I was thinking to myself uh, when I was uh, reviewing this resource myself before the video, there's a nice bit of opportunity here for a bit of investigation. 
because because you've got all the answers down here you can say to the students do you notice anything about the denominators um, of these different fractions do they have anything in common if they've got two decimal places recurring compared to if they've got one decimal place recurring and so on and because you've got them all here and because it gives you that opportunity to generate more questions and show answers you can test hypothesis out there about what is it about these denominators and when they simplify and when they don't simplify and so on so there's loads of different stuff you can do with that as well so there it is uh, how would I use this resource? Well, obviously, it's going to be ideal for a quick form of assessment if I'm doing any of these particular topics. So if I've taught a lesson on subtracting fractions, then I'd be daft not to project this up um, for the students to kind of copy down and do questions. And because there's so many questions available, I can say to students, OK, see if you can do any two that you fancy from this first one, then any two you fancy from there, then any two you fancy from that third one. And because I can just instantly show the answers, it makes it perfect for peer assessment and kids doing completely different work. So it's perfect for that. So certainly for um, assessing individual topics, I'd use it. It would also be ideal if my kids were preparing for a, an end of term exam and fractions was a topic. I would certainly be using this, this particular resource here, uh, perhaps for an entire lesson. And I could print out those worksheets if I wanted, but there's, um, I prefer just to project them up on the, on the screen. And I'll tell you the other time I'll be using this, and this will be comp regularly throughout the year with my year 11 students, because as we all know, kids forget things time and time and time again. And this is going to be a great way just for two minutes um, a week, something like that, or at the start of every lesson, just to project up one of these things and say, all right, off you go. See if you can do the, how quick can you do those first five questions? And that's the other thing, as well as practicing skills, it can practice quick mental arithmetic. And as we all know, fractions are absolutely crucial skills with fractions for a lot of other things whether it be algebra simplification ratio all that side of things you can get the fractions right you're laughing so for quick fire mental arithmetic practice absolutely ideal so there it is a, a really really wonderful resource and i promise i've, I've no bias or no kind of uh, i'm not getting anything for promoting this resource i it's just one i've bought out of my own money and i think it's an absolutely excellent resource so there it is fractions all in one from Mr. Carter Maths and I'll be back with three free resources for the next three weeks and then I'll pick out another premium one and that's how resource of the week is going to pan out for this year. So hope you found that useful. Take care of yourself and I'll be back next week. Bye bye.